the moment has arrived. We are here on October 5th, 2020, and David is about to pull the first fruit of his labor, which is a radish, actually two radishes, with the goal of eating them for today's breakfast. So come a little closer, come around. Here we go. This is the first one. And also I'm doing this because I just can't wait any longer. And I want to see what grew in the garden. This is the very first one. It could be a little rounded and a little bigger, but I am an impatient person. I'm going to put another one so the one next to it can grow more. Here we go. This one looks a little better. Look, here they are. The first two. We're going to go home and eat them. Yay! It worked! I have to share something with you guys. Uh, moments like this give me wings. <laughs> there was a guy painting my neighbor's, our neighbor's house. And I was recording something with my camera outside our house. And I hear him say, do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> and he said, I look familiar. And it turns out that he actually watches us. I mean, how crazy is that? So who are you, sir? Uh... Um, you know, you're gonna be on my channel now. You have to. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> so you really watch us? Yeah, I've, 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 watched, I've watched all your videos. I've seen a few of them. You just do. I watched the one with the traveling rocks of Northeast. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. Showed a couple of nice places in the Northeast. I've lived in this town my entire life. So, what's your name? Richard Sumpers. And you live in Northeast? Yeah. And you do home improvement for a living? Yep. That's awesome. Thank you so much for, you know, being a viewer. It's no problem, man. <laughs> really crazy. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I just happened to see you with that camera. And I was like, oh man, you know what I mean? I heard you talk. I, saw, I, I saw this guy on. before. <laughs> I knew that guy. <laughs> I've seen him on TV. Well, uh, happy coincidence that you're painting my neighbor's house. Yeah. Um, have fun, enjoy your work. You too, man. Have fun making them, making them movies. I always think we're not that popular. In the YouTube verse, we're really not that popular. But, so, so when something like this happens, even more so, you feel like, wow, that's amazing. There's an actual live person here <laughs> that, you know, is organically uh, recognizing us from the YouTube channel. I mean, this is this is really crazy. We've become friends with people who, I mean, good friends that come over to our house and like we hang out with who watch the YouTube channel. Yes, but it's still unusual. How often does that happen that someone tells us, you know, I know you're from YouTube? It happened Not just the other often. day in Philadelphia when Michael Blichas recognized you, but oh, that yeah. meeting was arranged. He knew we were coming, so uh -huh. You know, so this he, guy yeah. had no idea. He just literally looked at me and was like, wait and a minute. And he's not Polish too. And he's not so. Polish. He was like, wait a second. I know this guy from somewhere. And then he said he heard your voice, you said, and that yeah. was it. Uh, also, yesterday, what a day. We uh, went to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to film for Tefo Pepolonia again. Uh, the Polish reconstruct, uh, Polish reenactors were there reenacting Second World War. Dzisiaj rzuciło nas do Pensylwanii. Jesteśmy w miejscowości Gettysburg. Bardzo historyczne miejsce. Dużo się tu działo. My rozkładamy się trochę w pośpiechu, ponieważ ponownie filmujemy dla TVP Polonia. Use your monopod, I think, or no, this is mine, this is yours. From what I heard so far, we're not too late to film another skirmish that they're gonna have. Um, and that is... Bonnie, what do you think about all this? I'm glad there's not gonna be any actual bloodshed during the skirmish. It's just a reenactment. Yes. You 
should um, watch his vlog. He is about I was going to ask for the information. And well, stuff. it's um, we are going somewhere on YouTube. Do you have an email address? I'll email I do. you. That would be awesome. So, what's your name again? Amy Marie Beechler. Amy. So, Amy, you went to Poland because you have Polish roots. Mm -hmm. And, Bonnie, isn't it cool for you mm -hmm. that when someone says they went to Poland to where? Czesz? Czesz? Like, you know Czesz because you went there before. Isn't that a Thank cool you. feeling to have that you know exactly what she's talking it about? It is. I'm very weird. Like, I like to orient myself in the world when people okay. say. So, it's nice for me to be able to know, oh, I know exactly where she went. <laughs> So did you really, you went from Warsaw south? We went, yeah, we and then went to Warsaw, down to Jeshu for the Folk Dance Festival, uh -huh. which was a week of performing and mm -hmm. phenomenal experience in itself, because we were at the college in Jeshu. Mm -hmm. Performing what? Uh, Polish Folk Dance. All right. And this was in 2017? Yeah. What month was it? We went in July. Oh, I'm just curious because we just met somebody who went in September. Oh, really? 17 here too, yeah. Yeah. And Amy also um, doesn't really want to talk, doesn't want to speak Polish right now, but she told us if you, when you went to Poland, you were able to communicate enough. A basic conversation. Um, and I definitely shocked myself. Um, but everybody was so friendly and re it was so relaxed setting mm -hmm. and it was an um, it was just an unbelievable experience. And the cool thing is you were born here. I was. And uh, so w how did you learn Polish? My, when I joined the folk dance group um, was the majority of it because it's Polish based out of the Polish church in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, but I'm a, I live in Buffalo, New York, and it's a very large Polish community in Buffalo. You came here from Buffalo, New yes. York? Wow. That's a six hour drive. Yeah, about that. You don't have a Buffalo, New York accent. I spent 18 years in Northern Virginia. Oh. Um, and well, literally. She has Jeshua accent. <laughs> and moved back three weeks ago now. Oh, wow. Yeah, to help take care of my parents uh -huh. and, and close the family. Uh -huh. and, so. You do look Polish to me. You remind me of some Polish woman that we've met, but I can't put my finger on it. Does she look Polish to you? I was going to say that next, but you stole it. Already. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a really cool day, but it was also really busy and really long because we left home at 10 a.m., came back after sunset. And sometimes, you know, you feel like, oh, there's so much happening. This will be so cool to vlog. And then you find just you have not enough time because you have to pay attention to what you're actually doing for work and you think, oh, I'm gonna find 10 seconds here and there to just like film something and talk to the camera, but you don't because like your mind is focused about the, on the next thing you have to do right after you, you, you finish filming this segment, you have to do that, you have to recharge the battery, you have to put the drone in the air and do this and that. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like during the whole day- I know, day, I mean, you wanted me to vlog that stuff in Mexico and right. I was like, David, I can't do this. I have to enjoy the butterfly. Yeah, it seems like during the whole day, you should be able to find a minute or two to say a few words and just hold that GoPro in the air, but the reality is you don't. Is it it? There's 204 here. Two th oh, it's over there. Someone's it's on right the other there. Side. See her side. Oh yeah, I see it. In the meantime, we're going to photograph this house for sale and that concludes today's episode. Oh, there's water behind this house. I feel like I have to park on the street, don't I? Not in the driveway. Um, you can park on there for right now. And then when I take the outside pictures, I can have you. In the meantime, we have arrived at another house to photograph because of course you have to stay busy and do whatever you can and grow the business. See ya guys. I know who she reminds me of. Yahoo's wife. Oh yeah. Doesn't she? A little bit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept thinking like I we pictured. Have to show you the yes, yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. That's his cousin's wife.